The right lung has got two fissure. That is why three lobes. Three lobes. The most easiest point to identify. Otherwise, each of the lung will have an apex. Apex is the part situated above the above the first rib. That is thoracic inlet. The part beyond thoracic inlet is apex. Apex is conical and directed upward. Base is concave and directed downward. Anterior border is sharp. Posterior border is rounded. And there is also an inferior border. Okay. Now it has got surfaces. This is costal surface or lateral surface. Costal surface have costal impressions. And the medial surface is two part anterior two third and posterior one, one third. third posterior one third bearing impression of the vertebra and intervertebral disc that is called as vertebral, vertebral surface. surface and the anterior two third anterior two third is related to mediastinum that is called as mediastinal surface okay now similarly if we see the left lung uh, these two are of different individual. Actually, the right lung is heavier than left lung. Right lung is actually heavier than left lung, but here it is of a different individual. That is why you may it may appear that left lung is the larger one, but uh, actually right lung is the larger one. So left lung also you can see there is only one what fissure. fissure? Mm -hmm. That is oblique fissure, no horizontal fissure one fissure so two lobes are there mm. and again anterior border is sharp posterior border is rounded the conical apex is upward concave base is downward there is an inferior border the mediastinal surface again divided into anterior two-third mediastinal surface posterior one-third vertebral surface mediastinal surface have a main feature that is called as hilum hilum through it transmits root of the lung okay root of the lung uh, bundle of structures some structures going in and some structures going out but this gateway is called as hilum mm -hmm. and through that gateway the bundle of structures which are going in or coming out they are together called as root of the lung okay now this root of the lung different in case of right lung and left lung in case of right lung there are two bronchus one going above the artery and one going below artery so that is why this is pulmonary artery one going above the artery and one going below the artery one is called as ap arterial bronchus ap arterial bronchus and one is hypo arterial bronchus in short, apartrial bronchus and hypartrial bronchus. And they, this is principal, uh, right principal uh, pulmonary artery. And these are pulmonary veins, lower pulmonary veins. So, ye yaad rakhne ke liye thora mushkil jata. Left side mein kya hai? Left, in left side, that is artery, bronchus and vein. This is left artery left pulmonary artery this is principal bronchus here there is no apartheid no hypartheid because only one so principal bronchus and lower pulmonary veins these two are lower pulmonary one is up uh, uh, these two are pulmonary vein this one is upper pulmonary vein and this one is lower pulmonary vein here also this one is upper pulmonary vein and this one is lower pulmonary vein so two pulmonary veins in both lungs but two bronchus in right side and one bronchus in left side. In exam you have to write in a sequence above downwards. Above downwards a partial bronchus, pulmonary artery, high partial bronchus, lower pulmonary vein. And upper pulmonary vein is anterior. Here also pulmonary artery, principal bronchus and lower pulmonary vein. Upper pulmonary vein is anterior. anterior. How to remember this? It may get, it may get confused. When we have multiple similar parameters, it is jumbling. So you can think that left lung is called Bunty. Okay? And 
द राइट लंग इज टेलिंग दैट बंटी अपना बड़ा भाई दैट इज ब्रोंकस आर्टरी ब्रोंकस वेन ब्रोंकस आर्टरी ब्रोंकस वेन दैट इज ए पार्ट्रियल ब्रोंकस आर्टरी हाई पार्ट्रियल ब्रोंकस वेन बी ए बी वी एंड लेफ्ट लंग ये बड़ा भाई है सो इट इज कॉलिंग अपन बड़ा भाई तो दैट इज आर्टरी ब्रोंकस वेन ठीक है फ्रॉम एंटीरियर टू पोस्टीरियर इन बोथ केसेस द रिलेशन इज सेम दैट इज वे अपर पल्मोनरी वेन नॉट लोअर अपर पल्मोनरी वेन पल्मोनरी आर्टरी एंड ब्रोंकस दैट इज वैब बी ए बी इन बोथ केसेस अपर पल्मोनरी वेन आर्टरी एंड ब्रोंकस हेयर ऑल्सो अपर पल्मोनरी वेन आर्टरी एंड ब्रोंकस दैट इज द रिलेशन इन केस ऑफ anterior to posterior and post uh, superior to inferior b a b v and a b v gloves pehne hue ho to you can otherwise uh, all the structures looking same but if you are uh, touching it you can see that there is a cartilaginous feeling matlab hum nostril mein ya kaan mein haath dalte to cartilaginous feeling hota hai तो यहाँ पे दो कार्टलेजिनियस ट्यूब का फीलिंग आएगा यहाँ पे एक कार्टलेजिनियस ट्यूब का फीलिंग आएगा और जो एकदम पतला कोलाप्स कोलाप्स हो जा रहा है दैट इज वेन और जो अपना स्ट्रक्चर मेंटेन रखता है थोड़ा मतलब ग्लव्स के फिंगर और गैस पाइप इसका अगर तुम फर्क करेंगे तो ग्लव्स के फिंगर है वेन और गैस पाइप है आर्टरी ठीक है ना अदर differences all the differences mainly at this mediastinal surface otherwise one difference already i have told you that fissures. here there are two fissures Three oblique lobes. fissure and horizontal fissure in case of left lung only, only oblique, oblique fissure, fissure so horizontal fissure now other differences if you see both the lung have similar impression but of different structure similar impression but of different structure just above high lung in case of right lung there is impression for azygous vein an arch impression for arch of azygous and just above high lung in left lung there is an arch impression for arch of aorta so here arch of azygous here arch of aorta both lung have arched impression above high lung impression is same or similar but जिसके लिए इंप्रेशन हो रहा वो स्ट्रक्चर अलग है यहाँ पे आर्च ऑफ एज आई गए यहाँ पे आर्च ऑफ नाउ जस्ट बिहाइंड हाई लम इन लेफ्ट साइड देर इज डिसेंडिंग थोड़ा सी क्या दिस इज द इंप्रेशन फॉर डिसेंडिंग थोड़ा सी क्या होटा वायर एज हेयर देर इज इंप्रेशन फॉर इसोफेगस इन केस ऑफ राइट लंग हेयर देर इज इंप्रेशन फॉर इसोफेगस सो हेयर इसोफेगस here descending thoracic aorta but the impression is similar like a long tube but this one is for esophagus and this one is for descending thoracic aorta now in this area antero inferior to the hilum both side have cardiac impression because heart is related but near right lung it is impression for right atrium and at left lung it is impression for left ventricle right atrium left, left ventricle. ventricle so the impression of the left ventricle is quite deep and this is this one is shallow this one is very deep and due to that depth there is a notch formation here you can see there is a notch formation that is called as cardiac notch this notch is called as cardiac, cardiac notch. notch and beyond cardiac notch there is a tongue like projection that is called as lingula you can see this is a tongue like projection that is lingula in right lung there is no lingula no cardiac notch only in case of left lung you'll see one cardiac notch and one lingula But this lingula actually represent the middle lobe in right lung here you can see a middle lobe but in left lung there is no middle lobe upper lobe and lower lobe that middle lobe yahan pe tum dekh sakte ho developmentally yahan se ek line gaya hai alag kar raha hai isko 
that middle lobe is actually compressed by heart mm. so its growth is obstructed so middle lobe is underdeveloped and it turns into lingula so this lingula is actually representing the middle Middle lobe of right lung that is why we will see in bronchopulmonary segment initially in 81 1981 uh, there was a perception that left lung have less number of bronchopulmonary segment later it is established that similar number of bronchopulmonary segments are there only growth is restricted okay so what are the differences now it has got one fish uh, two fissures three lobes lobes. one fissure fissure, two two lobes lobes. here there is uh, impression for arch of aorta here the arch of azygas here there is esophagus here there is descending thoracic aorta here there is bronchus artery bronchus vein here there is artery bronchus vein then impression for right atrium impression for left ventricle and in this region also there is a uh, here this is right atrium from right atrium there is a continuous impression that is for superior vena cava will get an impression for superior vena cava ये साइड में ऐसा इंप्रेशन नहीं है हेयर विल गेट इंप्रेशन फॉर अदर स्ट्रक्चर्स दैट इज लेफ्ट सबक्लेवियन आर्टरी ओके सो दीज आर द सम डिफरेंसेस ऑफ राइट लंग एंड लेफ्ट लंग नाउ रिगार्डिंग वेट ऑलरेडी यू कैन सी वेट इज नॉट अ पर्सिस्टेंट क्राइटेरिया एक्चुअली राइट लंग हैव अ ग्रेटर वेट एंड लेफ्ट लंग हैव अ लेसर वेट बट इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द बॉडी वेट ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल Average weight, if we consider Indian average weight, as per Indian average weight, r- right lung is six twenty-five gram and left lung is five sixty-five gram. Right lung average is six twenty-five gram. Left lung average is five sixty-five gram. But if you Google it, if you go to the foreign author books, you'll see that uh, right lung is seven hundred gram and left lung is. 600 gram that is an american standard in america you'll see uh, all triple xl t-shirts a double xl minimum size and they use only kind of they will never go for hash bash they will always use suv good space they need uh, more space so american standard is different their structure is different okay but indian standard it is 625 gram and 565 gram but an american standard it is 700 and 600 okay so jo gloves pehne ho dekh 